Today, as you read on the title, I am going to be trying the Cordless Makeup Brush Cleaner. And it's this right here. And this is supposed to clean your brushes in a little bowl with like this thing that spins over. And yeah, we're gonna see if it works. I found this at TJ Maxx. I was walking through the aisles of TJ Maxx and I saw it and I was like, So I had to buy it just because I want to know if it works because I am that person that struggles so bad to wash the brushes, to wash my brushes. And I just thought that maybe if it worked I was going to have a better outcome washing my brushes. So I haven't tried it, like I only opened it to fill it with water. It comes with this little tank of like this little bowl for water. And then it comes with the thing that spins. Doesn't come with batteries, which it sucks. Um, but it comes with that. And then inside the box, you have the little um, case to put in that thing. It comes with all these little heads. So basically, I think these are to put in the brushes. Um, that way you can put it on that little spinny thing and then it'll clean it in the water. So I am going to get into this video like real quick and I am going to grab a foundation brush which is the one that I actually struggle the most to wash. So here I have a foundation brush which is quite nasty. So now what we have to do is look for the little piece that'll fit my brush. So apparently it's this one right here. It's the 15 millimeters. Okay, so basically you're gonna put that little, this little square into here. And then you're gonna put the brush inside like this. And then you are going to stick, oh, I'm getting my hand off. Stick this in here just like that so I have my bowl of water right here with the soap that I normally clean my brushes with and let's see what happens shit <gasps> hell no Oh my god. Well, the water just turned whitish. So I'm gonna take this out. I don't know. I think right now I'm thinking like if you take it out of the soapy water, isn't it gonna stay soapy? Isn't the brush gonna come out like soapy? If you can see that right there is still foundation. What if I put it in there again? That's that's actually foundation. What's in the middle? And these are like the hardest brushes to wash just because you have to get like right in there in the middle Oof. the soap is kind of growing on me right now so i don't have any more space oh my gosh i don't know if you can see that right there but that is disgusting okay let's see let's see what happened whoa Okay, let me just say I am shook right now. Like, oh my god. <laughs> so, I really... No, it's like a little bit of water. Like, it needed to dry. So, right off the bat, my brush is clean. 
only thing is I am going to try it on another brush it still has a little bit of residue like right here I don't know if you guys can see it that right there is still foundation but it's like a little bit let me go get clean water okay so I got new water and this time I added a little bit more a little bit less soap just because I feel like I added way too much okay so I'm going to put this in here and then this one right here I love how it like opens up Ooh, the water is turning blue when you use your brushes the thing with colors is that they stain it so bad on the brushes and even when you wash them they're still gonna come out stained depending on the pigmentation of the shadow I think that's drying but I don't know if you can see I don't know if you can see but it still looks blue there's the brush it still has a little bit of tint from the blue shadow but it is actually clean so it smells so good I love the smell of clean brushes oh my god okay this is this is not okay okay wait 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 okay this is not okay look at that oh there you go I guess I didn't put it correctly that's why it was like wiggly oh my gosh this one is like super clean oh hell no oh my god I like the water that comes out of it the struggle to get them out of this thing is hard though look at that that is a clean brush Letting it dry. Oh my gosh, this is so clean. It's hard to get it out of the rubber. This is so clean. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try a last brush. I want to find a really dirty, nasty one. Let's see how it cleans like really tiny baby ones. I don't even know if that's going to do something to the freaking brush. So for this one, I don't know if you guys can see um, right there. Let me just try to make it focus. Like right there, it still has a shadow on the bottom. So I think the really small ones, um, it doesn't work for that. How about this one? This one, I also use it for... I also use it for foundation sometimes, so I should change the water, or should I leave the water? Oh my gosh, this is weird. Okay, so it cleaned right in the middle of the brush, and it cleaned way in there, but it didn't clean the freaking sides. Let me change the water okay so this time i added only a little bit of water because it could also be have a lot of water in there but the water is coming out dirty so i'll just let it and let it dry see now that came a little bit better but there's still a little 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 bit of foundation right here but believe me this is like really good for like 10 seconds it was in there so maybe if i give it one more it'll like leave it super clean but yeah there you have it the the one i have is that urban butterfly cordless makeup brush cleaner and i got this at tj maxx as i said i i think it was 14 dollars so it's right here it was 14.99 and I really think this is like a life changer situation because as I said I struggle so much to clean my brushes it's like my worst nightmare so I believe this is a really good investment and it's really really fast I guess whatever you have to do is just like if it doesn't come out clean the first time try it again and it's way easier than scrubbing it on your hand or on the little mat until it comes out clean it's just six seconds and the most 
cool thing about it is that it dries them out and that I think is what I do love about it it dries the brush up so you don't have to wait I have to wait like one day or two days for them to like all dry and so I have to keep a dirty brush all the time because I don't want to be without a brush so I think that the drying part is like so awesome so if you're able to get your hands on one of these babies and you find them at TJ Maxx, don't hesitate if you think that it's not worth it. I think it really is worth it. $15 is nothing to a lifetime without cleaning your brushes. Guys, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button so you're notified when I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram. And also give this video right here, right now, a big thumbs up. I love you guys so, so, I love you guys so, so, so much. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.